In 2010 we had female participation on site of around 7% and one of the goals that was set was to get to 25% by 2022. We're now in 2021 and we've hit 20.2% and we've re-looked at that and said, you know what, we can go bigger. So that's where this 40-40-20 goal has come from. We want 40% male, 40% female and 20% gender diverse. And along with the work that we've been doing in the cultural identity, gender identity, all of the life ages and stages, it's all about anyone can work here. Um, historically, it has been that heavy male-dominated industry and the tasks have been very manual handling. Whereas now, changing those tasks, looking at those tasks, how can we do it in a different way that anyone can do it? And it's actually made all those tasks a lot safer. You know, we've been making steel for 50 odd years. If you've always got the same people looking at the same problems in the same way, you're never going to find those innovative solutions. You're never going to make that next step forward and, and keep the business sustainable for the future. So the Speak Up culture came out of the organisation as we diversified the workforce. It brought about a number of challenges. One of those was to make sure that everybody understood how they were to behave at work. Um, we went through a, a training programme that talked about behaviours in the workplace. So our Speak Up policy really is about making sure that people have a platform to be able to report on those facets of their day-to-day -day operations that they're not happy with and shouldn't have to tolerate. I've taken the diversity and inclusion principles that New Zealand Steel have implemented and I take that out with me and then I interact with other people and hopefully they pass it on. Each person at a time, by the company, by the staff they employ, what they take out into the community, that's what we're creating. That's really wonderful.